Devlin uh, Brody has written a book called Corporate Bitch to Shaman. What a fantastic title it is, and I can't wait to talk to her. Evelyn's on the line now. Good evening, Evelyn. Good evening. Thank uh, you very much indeed for asking me to join you. I think that's the fascinating thing about this book. This isn't, as you uh, commented, and we often use the phrase here, a woo-woo book. This is a book that is underpinned by facts and, and facts that back up uh, the ancient traditions and yet brought forward to 21st century, which is quite, quite amazing, really. Um, yes, but, I mean, it's not... It, it is my story. There's an autobiographical element to it, but there's a lot of science, a lot of quotations. So this is not a book for the converted. This is a book for the unconverted mm. as to why this stuff actually works. So you had no exposure really to holistic healing or anything like that during your upbringing. That was nothing that was in your house or in your family. No, so this isn't a return not. to something. This really oh, was no, something this completely was never, new. This was never a planned path. So there is the double line of the experiential stuff which I investigated in all sorts of different ways at all sorts of different institutes and with different teachers and shamans and everything else. The right-hand side of the brain was experiencing all this new stuff, and the left-hand side of the brain was desperately anxious to understand how and why. So there was the experiential thread running in parallel with the scientific inquiry. Yes. I think only by experience will people ever be convinced. People yes. have to experience this themselves. But modern science and modern quantum physics in particular, which is hard, you know, are starting to provide the explanation. Mm. The medical establishment are increasingly having to accept there is a mountain of evidence coming out about the link between our minds and our bodies. They're no longer seen as separate. So the modern science or biology of psychoneuroimmunology does absolutely demonstrate um, that what we're subjected to emotionally and in terms of our work relationships and our personal relationships then act through the endocrine system to release different hormones. They bind into the cells in our body literally to produce ease or disease. The okay. body work, working with the cells in the body can help to release that stored trauma and can take people back from a state of dis-ease to, you know, better health. Yes. And that's modern science. There's nothing weird about that. You know, if you're depressed and you go to the doctor and they give you an antidepressant, that might deal with the symptom of depression. It doesn't deal with the cause of why you're depressed. Yes. Which may be something that's way further back in your life, or it may be quite current, but you need to get into the body to get to the cause, and that's why you would go to the shaman. We get to the book, Corporate Bitch to Shaman, as I say. I love repeating the title of the book. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, I believe this is your first book, yes? It is, yes. Yeah. I, mean, I was not given all this information for myself. I was given this information to be the bridge between the, the world, the scientific rational world, and the world of energy healing and shamanism, because not many people cross that bridge. And as I say, I just feel I was so blessed to have some of the teachers to gain some of these experiences that I want other people to know that this is visible because it can make a difference to how you live your life. Yes. And a lot of the work I do, particularly with women, is about reclaiming our magnificence. Yes. We're taught that, you know, it's okay to be a victim, it's not okay to be magnificent. Now, uh, you do a lot of workshops and I've, I was looking, I mean, you, you go to some pretty diverse places. What sort of trips do you have coming up? Well, in fact, I've just got back from Peru and Bolivia, which I was uh, in Peru and Bolivia with a group of my clients, and I'm going again next year, and that's to work with the indigenous shamans. We work with the plant medicine in the jungle with the evil shamans, and we work in the Andes, the high Andes, with the Cairo shamans. So it's, it's taking that indigenous knowledge, which they still hold on behalf of humanity, really, and taking people to experience that and learn from them. Evelyn, it's been a joy talking to you. Thank you so much for all your time tonight. We have overrun quite a bit, but thank you very much for that. It's much appreciated. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for inviting me on the show.